Autistic teen grabs grocery boxes, sister can't believe clerk's reaction. Time seemed to slow down as the guard closed in. It was all just a big misunderstanding. She pictured handcuffs, patrol cars, and a metal cage. Worst of all, her parents weren't there and her brother was acting like a completely different person. She had never felt so helpless before. Delaney didn't mind bringing her brother Jake on errands. But she didn't have the insightful magic touch her parents had when it came to dealing with his autism. And honestly, she was getting tired of explaining he was sweet and harmless. Little did she know, the next errand would be seared in her mind forever. The grocery list might have been short, but the brief shopping expedition quickly unraveled. It started with Jack standing in the middle of the aisle and staring at one of the supermarket clerks. She gave her brother a gentle nudge in the other direction so they could finish. But the moment she turned around, he vanished. The air stuck in her lungs as she jogged up and down each corridor. When she reached the end, she saw her brother was standing in the same spot as before, staring at the clerk again. Shook her head in confusion. Her brother never took interest in other people outside the family. This time, the guy noticed. He glanced out of the corner of his eye, clearly confused. Jack took a couple of steps forward then froze again. Something about the situation had her brother completely captivated. Delaney slipped her arm around him and tried to walk away, but he refused to move. A new set of eyes was now watching the situation. The store manager was observing the odd exchange, but it was the security guard that worried her the most. Suddenly, Jack said, hello. Delaney took a step back in shock. Jack never talked to strangers. Never in his life, not even once. The surreal moment was about to get more shocking. The clerk finally turned to Jack and said, hey man. Having a good day? For some reason, Jack too that is a signal to pick up one of the boxes and stride down to the other end of the store. Delaney chased after again, begging him to drop it and come with her. The security guard also took it as a signal and closed in. Jack tore open the box and pulled out orange juice bottles. He then started to put them in any empty spaces. This wasn't like any outing before. This wasn't her brother at all, and she had no idea what to do. He tucked two bottles under his arm and walked towards the door. It now looked like shoplifting. Jack was so focused on his task that he didn't see the determined looking guard ready to pounce. Then, without warning her brother went to the far side of the store again and back to the clerk. All she could do was run ahead and try to explain. The clerk reached out and grasped Jack's arm. What she witnessed left her speechless. The clerk smiled, guided Jack over to the shelf, handed him a juice bottle, and pointed where it should go. The guard appeared. Delaney stood between them. It only took two words to change everything. The clerk held out his hand and said, it's okay. He then turned to Delaney. He can help me. You cool if he hangs out here? She let out the long breath she had been holding and nodded. What unfolded next could only be described as her brother's moment, one that would touch the world. While kids Jack's age got their licenses and went to prom, their family lived with an entirely different level of standards. A hello was already huge, but when Jack started to chit-chat with the clerk and the young man, Jordan, chatted back, she couldn't hold back the tears. Delaney pulled out her phone to film. One by one, Jordan handed over the products and pointed out where they should go. Jack happily obliged. After 30 minutes of work, Jack finally said thank you and left with his sister. She however, wasn't finished yet, not by a long shot. The first thing was to post the video. She had seen her parents break down over simple acts of kindness before, but this time they all felt it to their core. Then and there they decided that the supermarket would be their only one. And, each day they went back, they watched how Jack grew more comfortable and confident with his tasks. There were two huge surprises left. After Delaney's video got over a million hits, she put up a GoFundMe page for Jordan to fulfill his dream of going to school, which ended up raising over $50,000. Second, after several visits to the grocery store, she noticed a paper in Jack's hand. The manager had given him a job application.